Hi everyone, my name is Danny Sleeman. I'm a product line manager for the 5G Transport and RF Group. Today we're going to talk about Exfo's 5G Pro Spectralizer. It's an RF over the air test solution that helps you accelerate 5G deployments and also troubleshoot quicker. As new frequency bands are being deployed for 5G, we see in the FR1 the low and the mid bands and in the higher frequency bands the millimeter wave deployments. So to paint a picture for 5G, we'll see a mix of all those different bands that are being deployed in order to get access the full capability of 5G. Now, this brings a new set of challenges and a complex RF environment. So how do we go on lowering operating costs, reducing time to build, and improving site metrics? So let's take a look quickly at the challenges that we can see in the field. So the first one is the spectrum verification. You know, as RF is getting more and more complex, you know, looking at the spectrum, knowing what to look it will be a challenge. Site activation. There's a lot of sites to be deployed at a quick pace. So activating cell site needs to be easy and simple. RF interference hunting is being more and more in challenge because right now the bands are super crowded. We have a lot of mix between 3G, 4G, and 5G. And the last point, as soon as we start looking at the mid bands for FR1 or the higher bands for FR2, TDD is a key requirement. So how do we look for TDD networks, do RF interference hunting, or analyze the spectrum easier? So let's jump in into a demo of the 5G Pro Spectralizer. We can show you how we can help you deploy, maintain, and troubleshoot 5G networks easier. From the mini toolbox, you'll have access to the RF Spectralizer application. Once started, you'll have access to four different modes. The modes are Real-Time Spectralizer, the Regular Spectralizer, 5G NR Signal and Beam Analysis, and LTE Signalizer. Um, the RF Spectralizer is able to cover the FR1 band and the FR2 band, so this can be selected directly here from the top menu. Now, if we take a look at that, the RF Spectralizer, you know, the core and essence of it is simplicity. So you'll have access to the quick menus where you can change, for example, the graph. And for example, we'll go and enable our spectrogram. Um, and what you can see in the spectrogram is basically when you change the scale, it will apply to the past and the present events. So this is really key when you're looking to, you know, narrow down an interferer and to find it. It makes it really simple. Uh, we also have access to the 3D spectrogram, which basically with the touch of your finger, you'll be able to move around the spectrogram, try to find your interference. On the top right corner, we also have the shortcut menu, which lets you change key settings pretty quickly. So for example, let's add some preamplification -amplif here. We can also go and change the center frequency. Um, also, you'll have a list of all the previous center frequency that was used. So, for example, we'll go and connect to a 5G signal right now at 647 megahertz. So, by selecting this, we're going to see now our 5G uh, frequency, 5G spectrum that's being displayed. Now, what's key with the application is that everything is, you know, simple. So, when we look at simplicity, everything we did revolves around that. So, let's look at the way markers are, are, can be done. So for marker, you're gonna see here an innovative snap to peak. So the snap to peak, what it does is basically, it gives you the ability to have a window that with the touch of your finger, you can move around and it will attach the marker to the highest peak on the window. So for example, we wanna go here and attach it to the top part. We attach, the marker will be attached and now we know uh, what's the frequency. And you have a quick access to the marker table right here where you can look at what's the frequency, the amplitude, and the delta if you had more than one marker. We also have the audible tone. The audible tone will be used for RF interference hunting where the unit will transmit a tone whenever that interferer is rising up in frequency. Uh, but to keep it simple, we have an adjustable window that's pretty simple to, uh, to change with your finger uh, so basically set the limit lines on where this marker will transmit the tone. Uh, so pretty simple, you can move it around, change the, uh, the thresholds, and the unit will transmit a tone to inform you basically as you're getting closer to the interference. Now, let's jump in a little bit and look at our 5GNR signalizer. So the 5GNR signalizer, whenever we're looking at a 5G signal, 
there's a few configuration that is required for that. So this goes from center frequency, SSB offset, and periodicity. But what we've done is to add an SSB scanner. The SSB scanner lets you scan a certain frequency band, or for example, you can select a start-stop frequency, and it makes it simple to scan without having to do any configuration. So if we go in, into band and we go, for example, band 71, which is right around us right here, we have a band 71 that's transmitting, and we hit on start, right now it will scan the whole band 71 and try to find all the 5G signal, signals that are transmitting there. So in the specific case that we have right here, we see one at 632.45, and it's basically the PCI is 283. Now I can let the scan run till it finish, or I can stop it, but if you let the scan run, you're gonna see that more 5G sites are populating. Once you have, once you find your 5G site, you just press on the play button, and at this point, the unit will be configured with the right settings, and you will be able to see your PCI, what is your RSRP, RSRQ, and your signer of that specific site. Uh, now, what's really interesting also is that if you go back now to the, your RTSA, you will see basically that specific 5G signal that we are demodulating. So if you didn't know where your signal was, you can now find it pretty easily. So right here, we're going back to RTSA and you're gonna see where, right, uh, where our 5G signal is. And I can go, for example, and now do spectrum analysis. I can do interference hunting if we have an interference. One more thing I want to show you is our TDD gated sweep. So the, to go to the TDD gated sweep, you have to go into your the spectrum analyzer. And in here, you will see a menu which is called gated sweep. So the TDD gated sweep is key to troubleshoot TDD networks. Uh, and basically, it requires um, some kind of synchronization. So when you enable your gated sweep, you'll have to synchronize to either a source, for example, a clock or a GNSS. Now, what Expo was able to do is basically remove the need of a GNSS and we have a patent pending on that. Basically, you would just go and select what type of network you want to test. So for example, 5G or LTE. So in this specific case, I'll select 5G. Uh, and now at this point, I will be able to synchronize to the 5G signal. So he, in here you'll have the scanner. So if you don't know what's your, uh, you know, if you don't know what are your settings or configuration, you can use the scanner to find it, or you can just say, for example, copy center frequency because we know we were just testing it earlier. And in here we see the sync status, which now becomes green. So when you're looking at your TDD signal, there is no need for you to use a GNSS. It saves a lot of time. Just from a configuration perspective, you're saving 30 minutes, so you can analyze TDD signal pretty quickly. In summary, the 5G Pro Spectralizer supports FR1 and FR2, has RTSA uh, with an analysis bandwidth of 100 MHz, also has 5G NR and 4G LTE demodulation with beam and signal analysis. We have the TDD patent pending easy synchronization, all that also with the fastest 5G blind scanner. This solution is available on our FTB 5G Pro and it is a field upgradable solution. So basically you can start with FR1 and transition to FR2, basically scaling at your own pace. You know, the, as you saw in the demo, we have a highly intuitive user interface. So it's simplicity uh, and ease of use is at the core of it. And the key thing here with the easy TDD sync is that you don't need a GNSS. So this will save you over 30 minutes in configuration and reduce the mean time to find interference. Uh, we have a lot of innovation built in. One of them is our 5G blind scanner, which basically doesn't require you any configuration for you to detect 5G signals. And all that is to a compact solution, has a battery life of over five, four hours, and a really light solution that's easy to use for inter RF interference hunting. Uh, also, one key thing here is that it doesn't stop at RF. So we have one of the best integration, and you're gonna see here basically that we have RF spectrum analysis, we do have fiber inspection, uh, fiber characterization with our IOLM intelligent OTDR, multi-protocol testing, so Ethernet up to 100 gig, CIPRI, eCIPRI testing, um, you can validate timing and synchronization, so PTP, time error. 
You can also do RF spectral analysis over CIPRI with our intelligent optical RF. Um, you can do transceiver validation, to validating SFP, QSFPs, and all that is basically to a format well, on what we call with our open transceiver, which is future-proof. So it's a flexible design and it's ready for what you need today, but also it's ready for what comes next. So well, thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. And if you have any question, feel free to reach out to us or visit expo.com. Thank you very much.